one last one here because it's a new tech. <laughs> we got a new tech here with a tri-band HT looking to put a simple antenna on the roof, quarter wave, um, Ed or, or a J pole. Also, how much do I need to be concerned about loss over a 50 foot run of coax? Um, okay. I think, you know, the J pole on the roof is a great choice. I, I, I sell the copper J-pole antennas, and I tell people all the time, you know, it's a perfect first antenna for, for two first. meters, 70 centimeters. So that's, I, I think, you know, you'll do well. Um, the tri-band, I don't know if the tri-band, you know, that third band, if it's if it's the 220 band or the six meter band, you know, you you might, you're, you're going to, you're probably going to lose out on that because there's not really a tri-band style J-pole that's going to adequately cover all of that. Um, but I think the more important question is feed line loss. And uh, yeah. a 50 foot run, um, let me see if I can remember my stats. So um, at, at the bare minimum, you're gonna wanna use RG8U as in uniform. Uh, 100 feet of 8U has got about 2.8 dB of loss. So 50 Which feet of that more, is gonna be- yeah. 1.4 dB. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And yeah. So and so 50 feet of that's going to be 1.4 dB of loss, which is tolerable. Um, with an yeah. HT, maybe with a base unit, I, I think you're okay. I mean, I'm running. I got I got the antenna on the roof, and I run 8U down to the 50 watt uh, base, and it's you know, the losses, I, I tolerate the losses. Your next step up on that would be um, low loss coax like LMR 400 or it's or the generic equivalents. Uh, 1.7 dB a loss per 100 feet at the on two meters. So 50 feet would be 0.85 dB, which is excellent. And I think that there, you, you know, it's coax is not cheap. No, it's not. And, if you're going to spend the time to put an antenna on the roof, you should make the uh, and 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 to run all of that coax through the house. Don't cheap out on the coax. Spend the money, get the low loss stuff. You can upgrade the rig. You can upgrade the antenna, mm -hmm. and it's easy compared to having to handle that cable run all over again. So yeah, so. We, I mean, I just went on a rant about QRP guys, mm -hmm. and now I'm gonna, you <laughs> know, when it comes to VHF, UHF, power and height are king. Yeah. Period. Yep. So yep. as little a loss, as high as you can get it, right? There, mm -hmm. There's a little bit of a trade-off between power loss and height, especially when you have an HT, and that's, yeah. that's why this guy sounds like he's running. Okay. Yep. So... Life goals, first of all, run good coax to where you need your operating station. Once you get good coax, then upgrade to like a used like two meter 440 radio or something. Yeah. All right. Then because you're going to have losses and those losses when five watts are substantial. Yep. yep. All right. But if you are able to minimize your losses and then eventually move into a bigger radio i mean you can find a good radio two hundred dollars 250 new like at uh radiotity uh if you can find like an old motorola for mm -hmm. 50 bucks those also work yes, <laughs> that is true. all of us have run old motorolas or yep. you know, whatever <laughs> you can find um mm -hmm. but for vhf uhf power and height are king. Yep, absolutely. And every day of the week. So that's a little bit of a different story. I mean, there's guys that run QRP, like two meter side band. That's a fine caviar. That's and usually hilltop to hilltop. That's that's a totally different thing. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, but for yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, guys that bounce stuff off meteor scatter. Yeah. There's there, there's weird things out there. <laughs> But for, a, for a new guy out there, get some decent low loss coax, yep. a decent antenna, and then work on upgrading the station after that. There you go. Yep. Um, 
Absolutely. I, I, I totally agree. You know, it's, it's not the, you know, coax isn't cheap anymore, but um, it's one of those things that is totally worth the, the in, um, yeah. investment. So. Us HF guys, we can run, we can run um, RG58. We can run RG8X, <laughs> the cheap stuff all day long. And those yeah. lower bands, there's very little loss. But when you get up above 100 megahertz, the loss increases. If you guys, if, for you guys who are thinking about running microwave stuff, inches count. Yes. yes. Inches count in terms of dB. You, you, you are running D-line. really, really, really expensive coax. <laughs> like two feet is a hundred bucks coax. <laughs> And you're wondering how you can shorten you how you can get the transmitter closer to the feed head. Yeah, it, it, it's it just exponential when you get up to those frequencies. So yep. when you get to two meters and four forty height, power, reduce your losses. Mm -hmm. KB9 VBR antennas are simple, effective, and affordable VHF and UHF antennas for amateur radio, MERS, public safety, and GMRS. Made in the USA with quality parts. Get yours online at jpole-antenna.com.